Welcome back guys to my let's play of Runaway A Road Adventure where we left off. We finally made it to chapter 3. Took a while, but we're here and we wiped down the window, found out it's a bright sunny day, Brian's getting impatient, I just want to slap him, uh, but anywho, we're trying to find a way to escape. Look at the freezer lid. Shot. Well, let's open it. There isn't even a can of soda. But it's full of huge blocks of ice. Well, can we take one? Um... The ice is defrosting now that the sun's hitting it, but it'd be faster if the freezer wasn't oh, on. Yeah. This would go quicker if I could switch the freezer off somehow. That guy's... Oh, we could have unplugged it a while back. I see the freezer drain, so we're going to have to do that too. That's where the water drains out when you defrost the freezer. No shit. Okay, so we need to open the freezer drain. No, I won't achieve anything by opening it as long as the freezer has ice inside instead of water. <sighs> okay, we need to unplug it. Even though I asked to do this last episode. Done that. Now it'll start to defrost. And let's open the valve, cause... Alright. Now that the power to the freezer's been cut off, the lid is open and the sun is shining in on the blocks of ice. I think it'll defrost in a jiffy. Can we open the valve? It's been a while. Let me see. The ice is completely melted, but now the freezer's full of water. So I'm just drinking, taking a drink of my pop, but it's like... Ah! <laughs> Yeah, that's how I'll empty the water out of the freezer. It looks more like gel than water. Okay, it looks like it's all empty now. Now we can move the sucker. Okay, here we go. I think I can move it now that it's empty. Well, that's good to cool. see. Cool. A trap door. I knew it. Something was telling me the solution was hiding under that heavy freezer. I think the dominant pink and all that kind of gave away that something may be important under there. Just a hunch. But we're gonna use the crowbar. Let's see if we can break it. Yes. I'll try to pry the padlock off. Done. Now I can get the heck out of this wretched cabin. Yay. Now that I got the padlock off. All right, I think I can slip out under the cabin. I'll be careful not to go out through the front so they don't catch me. Here we go. <sighs> I made it out. I'll hide behind those rocks and think about what to do next. Hello. What rock did you climb out from under a handful? Uh, hi. I... He's here to rescue us, girls. We're saved! To rescue you? And I thought I was the one. Did that lizard Jules send you? Jules? Wait, hold on. I don't know what you're talking about. I just escaped from that cabin there. Some mafia thugs were holding me prisoner. Me and my, uh, uh whoa, well, a friend of mine. You've got to help me set her free. Her life is in danger. I was just in that cabin a while ago. We saw a chopper fly in, and I went there to ask for help. But some guy with an eye patch told me to do an about face and never come back there if I didn't want to become buzzard food. Listen, cutie, we're in a jam here too. We are artistes on a nationwide tour, and our bus broke down a week ago. We've been stuck in this godforsaken desert all this time. I drive a Jules who accompanied us on tour, went for help. And well, we haven't heard from Jules again. I bet that jerk took off with all the money we gave him and left us out here to become cactus fertilizer. Jules said he knew of a shortcut through this hot desert and that we'd get to Las Vegas much faster his way. I bet the swindler had it all planned out. I bet he broke the bus himself to steal our money and leave us here with the rattlesnakes. Well, I see you're not doing much better than me, but I'm sure we can work together to find a way out of here. The most important thing to me is freeing Gina. Those guys are dangerous and might do away with her at any moment. And you girls have to help me. 
Don't get me wrong, but I trust guys like you less and less every day. Who is this Gina woman? Why are they holding her captive in that cabin? Who are those guys you say you're running from? And most importantly, who are you? It's a long story, and we're running out of time. Believe me, I'm one of the good guys, and I can assure you they're the bad guys. Will you help me? By the way, my name's Brian. Hi, I'm Carla. And I'm Mariola. Charmed. And I'm Lula, and mmm. Hey, we're with you on this, you big hunk. We'll help you out. You have a plan, dear? A plan? Of course. A plan to free your girlfriend and get us innocent lambs out of here. She's not my girlfriend, and, well, I haven't thought of a plan yet. She's not your girlfriend? A handsome man like you with no girlfriend? Mm. You don't like women much. That's it, isn't it? Okay, okay, she is my girlfriend. And I think I do have a plan. Just let me think a while and let the plan develop. Develop, develop. In the meantime, I'm going to rehearse my new dance move. Yeah, and I'm going to get back to my tan. And I'm going to rest for a while. I'm simply exhausted. Got it. Hey, don't you want to hear my plan? Why don't you just wait until you got everything ready? Okay, Luscious? Okay, okay. Don't wear yourselves out, girls. Okay, first of all, let's go over the plan again. We've got to get the thugs' attention so they leave the house. Then, I can go in and untie Gina, and we'll escape through the trap door. When those thugs go back inside the house and realize Gina and I are gone, we'll implement part two of the plan. Somehow locking the bad guys inside the cabin so they can't come after us. Last of all, part three is finding a getaway vehicle. It seemed to be in the middle of a desert, so going on foot is out. I can't waste a single moment. Gina's life is in jeopardy. Let's get down to work. As I say through that entire scene, what was going through my mind is, I need an adult. I need help. I need an adult. Um, yeah. Now we have to deal with this music, too. Okay, so apparently we need to make a plan. Let's start. Let's take the tanning oil. Do you mind if I borrow your tanning oil? Sorry, sugar, that's my last blow. I still haven't acquired that bronze tone that turns macho men into love machines. Yeah, about that. Um, okay. I don't. I don't uh. Let's go around first before we start talking to these scary w women. I'm disturbed. Please help. One of those typical prop trunks that actors and singers use. I think I'll take a look and see what's inside. A basketball. It's deflated and needs some stitching, but it might be of use. Oh, I got the air thingy. Let's take another look and see what I find. Well, that was the only interesting thing in there. The bed, that better be it. These folding chairs are really practical out in the country. That's a hot song Willa's playing to rehearse her dance step. Not really, but okay. No, I don't want to ruin a rehearsal. I do. Please. Please. There's something I want to go get. Cause you can go get something. Oh, never mind. I guess we'll go in. Wow. What a sweet setup they've got here. Very chic. I like it. I see Carla's lying down in back. Okay, well, let's go in here. See what we can find. Clearly, our getaway vehicle is going to be this vehicle. Um, we just have to get some way of getting it working, which is just a flat tire. It's full of lipstick. Well, let's take some lipstick. Well, I'll just grab whichever. I don't plan on using any myself, but I might use it for something else. A bunch of rings and earrings. 
I don't want to take any of that stuff. It's full of necklaces. I don't need any neckwear. Okay, so no. Let's, I guess, go into the back of the bus, which looks scary. Oh my. <laughs> uh... I bet it's a souvenir from a trip to Spain. No. What could I do with it? No idea. It has a security closure system. You need a key to get it open. I, I can't do that without the key. That cocktail actually looks pretty good. I don't think Carla would like it much if I took her cocktail away. Besides, I've never tried strong mixed drinks. It might upset my stomach. There. Let's just say, stellar? Yeah, that's the word. Stellar. I would die wearing those shoes. <laughs> uh, no thanks. They're not my size. Well, you have to try them out first. It's interesting. Is she holding a knife? I think she is. No, I can't picture it on my bedroom wall to tell you the truth. Okay, well this will be when I talk to her. Um... Yeah, though, though this brown her chest looks kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. Um... Yeah. So I guess we'll talk to her first. You look exhausted. Utterly, darling. Listen, I was a bit indisposed when I woke up yesterday because of some stomach trouble, so I took a pill I keep just for these occasions. The trouble is, I forgot you can't mix the pills with alcohol because they knock you out. So I had a Turkish passion in the evening. I invented that nectar like delight, by the way. <laughs> Ooh, sister, you can't imagine what happened. It's like I was frozen in space. My graceful body seemed to weigh a ton. <gasps> Just horrid. I'm feeling a tad better today, but I'm still a bit peaked. I need to get some beauty sleep. Are you gastrically challenged? Well, look, they're just momentary bouts of pain. You know, once in a while, you overburden your system and uh, things go out of whack. Okay. <laughs> I just happen to have a bit of heartburn. You wouldn't let me try one of those pills you take, would you? Darn, I just ran out. When I went to take one yesterday, there were only two left in the bottle. I took one and dropped the other one, which fell through that grating on the floor. So otherwise we have to go underneath the trailer to grab it. And you say that if you mix those pills with alcohol, it knocks you out cold? Let me tell you, honey. That mix is a time bomb, and the effects last for hours. You mentioned the Turkish passion. What's in that? Oh, that's a woman's secret, my love. My delectable blends are renowned. That Turkish passion is one of my personal favorites. I've created many more. There's gentle frenzy, black autumn, love juice. Brandy Alexandra. Anyway, there's a million, and they'll all drive you wild. <laughs> okay. Can you think of any way to set my friend Gina free and get us all out of here? Listen, sweetie pie, I'm in no condition to be thinking. But besides brawn, you seem to have brains. So I'm sure you'll dream something up. What I can tell you is not to trust that Gina girl much. She's got more lizard in her than my nicest purse. Yeah, I could have told you that a long time ago. I've seen that you keep your fridge under lock and key. Yeah, that's Lula and Ariola doing. Those gossipy wenches accused me of eating uncontrollably and put that lock on the icebox. They haven't given you the key, have they? No, they are hell bent on controlling me, especially with the butter. Is it my fault if I can't resist bread and butter? Mm, maybe. Oh, uh, no. And you have no idea where the key is? No, I know it's hidden somewhere on the bus, but no matter how hard I look, I never can find it. I don't know where those anorexic bikers keep it. It's a little tension between them, sounds like. 
Have you tried opening it with a hairpin? It always works in the movies. Yeah, I've tried it all. With a screwdriver, too. And a nail file. But nothing seems to work on that damn lock. Have you been together for long? Lula, Mariola, and you? Mariola and I have been together for over 15 years. Back then, our stage name was Hernandez and Fernandez. Times were crazy, and our show was just divine. About five years back, we met Lula and created the Divas. Since then, we've acted as a threesome on the best stages this country has to offer. We've been a huge success. Okay. I'll let you get some rest, Carla. See ya. Toodaloo, cutie! Now I do see something I need, which is the needle and thread. So we're gonna look at that first. It looks like shoe repair thread. There's a needle next to it. Yeah, we need that. So I we're gonna take that. Too. Cause we can fix the um I can use it somewhere. basketball with that. So let's see if we can do that now. Okay, I'll try to stitch it. Oh, that turned out better than I expected. Okay, and then we can let's play see it if up. I can blow it up with this doohickey. It worked! You can't even tell where I stitched it up. Awesome. Never thought it'd turn out so well. Okay. So let's go get this grading. I can't see anything from here, but the pill Carla dropped must be down there somewhere. Can we open it? I can't lift it. It's stuck to the floor. No. No, she said the key was hidden somewhere. I am guessing it's not going to be that hard to find. But what is that? It looks like a handle to something. Like a flashlight, maybe. Well, let's grab it. It wasn't a flashlight after all. It's a handheld vacuum. Okay. I know I can use this. Um, but yeah, she said the key's somewhere around here. Interesting. Hmm. I think it's the axle of the device that opens and closes the bus door. But it's strange. The crank that the driver uses to turn the axle is missing. There's no way to do that manually. Um, I wonder. We have this, maybe. No. Well, fine. Get that way. There's so many different colors. No, I don't need it. They're nice. Take those. It's okay. I'm oh. sure the girls have plenty. Fine. Oh, okay, no mind. Maybe I'll show how thoughtful I am by giving them to Gina as a present. We did take them. Cool. There are many different... I don't need any... Just trying to see if we could Some find that I don't want to take... key of our of theirs. But I'm not see it anywhere or something that I can click. I do see crumbs though. Or something a little peculiar. Nope, that was just me. There. Let's just stellar. Yeah, that's I don't think they'd be in the boots. Well, let's leave the bus. And get out of here. So it looks like I can't get to the grate underneath there. Um, yeah, let's check the path too. Because I remember you could go to the path right there. Just kind of get away from the music too. And I got put a bunch of places to go to. So we'll have to check them out. But we're going to end the episode here, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this. Um, as usual, like, comment, as well as subscribe, and yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, with that, you guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!